Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again, and we're going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to step out of my comfort zone with carving. I've never done this before. Uh, I've never tried to do something that represented a real person and a caricature form. And I'm going to try to do that today. Who I'm going to do is President Obama. And it's going to be kind of a, a spoof on him. And when, if I, this one works out, I'll do a spoof of the other one so that I'm thinking of. I won't say it. I want to first see if we can get this done uh, correctly. I'm, I'm forging into a new territory a little bit and decided I was going to try this. Now, as you notice, uh, it's a, again a cone project. It's going to be kind of a humorous thing. Um, and please, I, I'm not making a political statement. I'm just doing a caricature just like the cartoonists do on uh, editorials. So uh, please uh, do not email me about Obama or anything, a Republican or Democrat. Um, I'm more independent than I am Republican. Okay, I'm going to not be ashamed to say I'm Republican, but I'm a very independent um, uh, not a conservative Republican, I'm a Republican, okay? And a lot of times I think I should be independent, all right? So, because I think there's good on both sides if they can come together on stuff, um, and that will never happen, we know that. And uh, I think both parties have some good things that they, they bring to the table and some really bad things they bring to the table. Um, so, this is just an experiment to see if I can do a human face in that's recognizable to everybody in a in a form of a caricature. So the first thing I noticed, the first thing you want to do if you're going to do this project, let's get our. If you want to join along, uh, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have a, a block that is four and three quarters inches long an inch and a half by an inch and a half by an inch on the top or a little bit better okay now you notice this cone isn't as as pointy as some of the other cones depending on your project then you do it accordingly to that this here um, one thing you need to do if you're going to do a caricature of a real person is you really have to study the face now I what I did is I went on on uh, Google and I just put Obama photos and a whole host of them came up and if you look at the picture of his face it's more of a pear shape not a pear shape but more of a an egg shape or a pear shape when I look at it so that's what we're gonna first produce on here and his ears stick out okay so those are the two things right now and he has a prominent chin and he also has uh, a prominent smile that is recognizable and um, and you'll you'll begin to see if you go to the caricatures you can also put in here Obama cartoon photos and you can see what they exaggerate on a caricature so take a look at that look it up on your own any character you want to do it doesn't have to be Obama it doesn't have to be but I figured everybody everybody should recognize this man after I'm done with it <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. But this is fun. I'm doing this as fun. So his head's going to be a little big, bigger than his body. Um, that doesn't matter. It's a caricature. There's nothing proportioned correctly on one anyway. So what we're going to do, I sprayed this with the solution, the 50-50. And I actually carve better than I draw. So I don't know why, but what I did was I took a piece of paper and I tried to draw Obama's face on a piece of paper. And after that I decided okay um, maybe you know I always found that my carvings were better than my my drawings and um, so if you draw or not it shouldn't make any difference you should be looking at your carving and, and trying to get a proportion so his, we're gonna do his face out of the corner so this would we're gonna start this will be our front okay and about part of the way down, I, since his chin is kind of long, we're going to put the chin right here, okay? Um, we, can, we can shorten it up a little bit later, but let's, let's get going with it. Enough talking, let's get carving here. And the first thing we want to do is kind of just 
determine where the bottom of his chin is going to go. Not where his nose is going to go, but where his chin is going to go. I'm doing something a little different because I want to shape up the, the egg shape or the pear shape first. So what we're going to do is we're going to round this off. We're going to round this off. He doesn't have much hair to start with. His hair is really cropped very, very short. Now I could have made this a little bit thinner, but that's okay. This was a little harder than I had before, so that's why I sprayed it ahead of time, just to soften it up. Okay, so I'm looking from this side, and if you look, if, if you go through these pictures of Obama, you'll begin to see they have, <laughs> they have 46 million images on Google pertaining to Obama, okay? 46 million. So if you don't get a good idea of what his face looks like, there's something wrong. But there are some side photos that I need. And if you go through them, you can actually uh, go through them and check, you know, save a few of them on your computer and go back and reference that way. We're just going to try to get the front view of his head done first. So I'm going to go here. And since his ears are going to stick out a little bit. What we're going to do is we're we're going to go about maybe uh, half an inch down. We're going to try to bring that up and around. Now his head is not completely flat. There's a little bit of a bump at the top. So I'm going to, you know, I always said that your profile or your front profile whichever you do, is probably the most important aspect of your carving. Because if that's off, your whole carving is going to be off. So, you know, let's, let's just keep just trimming this down all the way around. And, you know, we're, we're almost to a point where the top of his head is exactly where I want it to be. I'm going to get all those rough marks off. So here and here, okay. We're just going to go up a little further, bring this up and around, and this up and around. Now we're going to leave some room. We're going to do some ears on this guy because, um, you know, his hair is not going to cover his ears. So because it's a caricature, I'm going to put the ears about here, okay? I have no idea how many clips this is going to take. But we're going to kind of take this portion out. All right, that's about right. Let's let's do that. All right, so the top of his ears we're gonna take a little bit out like so. All right, just a little bit. We're gonna, and then we're gonna take this portion down here. All right, so uh, right underneath his ear, right there. Okay, that's where his ear is gonna be. We're going to make that kind of distinct in a little bit here, but we're going to start chopping this out. And we're going to bring this down and around to the front. All right, we're going to try to meet the, this with the other, okay, just like so, okay. Oh, I see Obama merging from the wood. Now, he, what I'm going to have him hold later on um, it's kind of a spoof, so um, again, please do not get upset with it. If if not, I'm just being funny, and I just don't, um, you know, just like those guys that do the caricatures, um, we're just having some fun with it, all right? So please, um, I, I don't mean any disrespect to either candidate um, that's running for office. I sure don't want to do that job. It's too much, way too much uh, to worry about. Okay, so we're going to go in a little bit here and we're going to chop this out a little bit. Just like so.